Uh, well, first of all, I was in Vancouver uh, in, um, uh, at Christmas time visiting my relatives, and I had a few USC public spe speaking uh, jobs to do in Vancouver, Victoria, and Salt Spring. During that time, I mentioned LADA's 100th anniversary, and I got such an emotional response from different people that I came back to USC and I said, I think something really important is happening here that we need to work on. Uh, now, I work on a planned giving program with USC, and I was sent out on, tr on a training, a one-week training course in Banff. And I timed it so I would go out on a weekend so I could spend the weekend in Calgary and do another of these talks about Lada's 100th anniversary. And my hosts there uh, were mentioned earlier tonight, J uh, John and Helen Backhouse. And uh, they're the ones who sent their regrets, who wanted to come all the way to this uh, event in Ottawa, but uh, felt the money should be better spent um, uh, with a donation than, 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 than coming here. And we sat in their kitchen uh, after the talk, and they were saying, you know, they, they were supporters of Lotta. She was on the board. She was Lotta's chauffeur back in Montreal, back in the 60s. And then moved out west in Cal into Calgary, and she became her chauffeur there as well, and was on the board of directors. And they were saying, how can we really celebrate Lotta's 100th anniversary in a proper way? And they felt that the best way this could happen is if people across the country were doing small kind of celebrations. And so their very uh, idea, vision, sparked me to think, well, there must be other people like the backhouses across the country. Let's go back to Ottawa and let's start to think about this and, and maybe, uh, as, as the backhouses were saying, well, we don't have any materials that we could have uh, an event and so on. So we took uh, uh, the time and energy to, to first of all, produce a uh, public service announcement that uh, was mentioned uh, that um, Robert Lang of, of Kensington Productions d did in Toronto. And that was put out in the uh, uh, a TV uh, PSA. And that started to show across the country and more interest was gained. And then we spent a lot of time, uh, myself uh, and, and others, uh, collecting uh, stories about LADA, quotations of LADA, and we put that into a CD-ROM that was produced in May and given to different groups, particularly Unitarian groups, who went back to their uh, home congregations and used that to such a degree that now, um, as we speak, I've, um, I've tallied, we've now reached a total of 50 different activities and events in honor of Dr. Lauder's 100th, which are happening from coast to coast. So I, I really um, feel that n none of that would have happened if I hadn't had that very casual conversation with, uh, with the backhouses in their kitchen in Calgary as they were saying, oh, wouldn't it be nice if this could be happening? So I really think we all owe uh, a debt of gratitude to them for that, that spark that sparked us that now has, uh, has really got a lot of people interested in, in Lada's uh, story and more people. Even today there were young people here who wanted to come and who is Lada? So uh, her story still does resonate, uh, resonate amongst uh, young folks too. So um, just a, a small story of gratitude to, uh, to the backhouses out in Calgary.